So it's day two of our Lynx tour of Dublin. And this morning we drove out about 20 minutes from the city and arrived here on Bull Island, this really beautiful setting uh, where this afternoon I hear I'm going to get a chance to play with Irish golfing legend Christy O'Connor. Uh, here at a course that, that I think is really the jewel in Dublin's golfing crown, this is the Royal Dublin Golf Club. Yeah, it's the second oldest golf course in Ireland after Royal Belfast, designed by Harry Colt. Luckily there we have a nice history in terms of both design, the history of the clubhouse, the championship history. Yeah, there's no better place. It's, it's interesting, many of our visitors from, from warmer climes, let's say, who relish playing in the slightly bracing conditions that you get here in Dollymount. But it's, I think it's all part of the experience. And uh, interesting enough, this bit of land didn't exist 250 years ago. It's an island in the middle of Dublin Bay, and it's one of the youngest pieces of land in Ireland, in the sense that it was, that it was literally, literally, as we've often said here, a gift from the sea. I had the chance to meet Peter Finnegan and walk around upstairs and see the photography and, and see how much this place is meant to golf in Ireland and just to golf in general. Uh, it's just really impressive. It's sort of, you get goosebumps when you're here and, and for really good reason. How are you Tom? Welcome to Royal Dublin. Good to see you. Good yeah, to be great. here. Tom, how are you? Christy, how, how are you? you? All right. Great to see you. So, what a day. Yeah, great, isn't it? Great, oh, day, yeah. great day to be on the links. Oh, it, absolutely. Gonna get a sunburn out here. Yeah. I mean, for me, this is a course that's all about angles and precision mm -hmm. and really knowing where to place the ball. Yeah. I mean, I think three, this is a pretty good example of a hole where you've got to put it in the right place. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what that place is. I think we'll try and keep the tee shots as close as to that mound on the left-hand side. Anything right of the stone there is going to struggle. It's going to be in the wispy stuff and you're going to have a very difficult approach shot into yeah. the green. I don't so, like the wispy stuff. No, we'll try and keep it out of the wispy stuff. All right, yeah. onward. I'll tell you, John was able to show me all the good spots and the bad spots to not be in, and that's really the sort of thing you need here at Royal Dublin, a real subtle golf course uh, where you have to know where to hit it, and you gotta hit your spots, especially when the wind's up. You really need to hit it in the right places. So John, a lot of Lynx courses would have more maybe subdued greens, but here, uh, these are like potato chips. Nice putt. <laughs> Easy game. Easy game. Undulating greens, but not for John. <laughs> right in the heart every time. Nice ball. Thank you. So John, fifth hole, but I see an error on your scorecard. Par four? Correct. <laughs> I get it. Looks like a par six. What a tee shot, yeah? So this is by far the most difficult tee shot in Royal Dublin. Yeah. You've got the you got the out of bounds down the right, hard wind blowing left to right. Yeah. Try and bail out and You've got, uh, you've got a tough task ahead of you. There's just no room to bail out, so you've got to stand up and have a fully committed tee shot here. All right, I'm getting committed. Oh, let it go, Wynn, let it go! So 14, I mean, talk about a great backdrop for a hole. I mean, you've got the clubhouse and you've got the towers there. You know you're in Dublin but then you sort of feel like you're not. It's great. Exactly. Yeah. You're, on, you're on an island uh, two miles from the city centre, so what more could you ask for? Pretty good. Yeah. I would say, since the bunker's up in the green, yeah. the bunker on the right, yeah. try and get it wrong, okay? What a swing. Get it, win. So, Kristen, we've come to 16, and this is a hole, this is a stretch of holes here, where your dad made some rare history. Without a doubt he did. Uh, it was 1966 and he was playing in the Carls International uh, at his home course, so a bit of pressure on him. He stood up here a couple of shots behind Eric Brown and he proceeded to stand up here, hit his tee shot onto the green. He holds the putt for two. Wow. So then he goes to 17, hits a good drive up, he punched a nine iron into about 15 feet. He held the putt. I think we wait till 18 until I tell you about that one. Okay, I okay. think something good happened there too. Without a doubt, <laughs> without a doubt, without a doubt. That's awesome. There you go, there you go. Super shot, yeah. super ball. This putt here now is going to break 
severely right to left with the wind because the wind is blowing that way and there is already a break there so we're going to aim it out a little bit more all right and please god all right buckets okay okay Great okay fun. happy with that happy with that awesome that yeah. wasn't an easy putt no with the wind and everything yeah you know it makes it makes a big big difference so 17, your dad made a what here? Made a three here, <laughs> okay? Very tough golf hole. It's a good <laughs> hole with that breeze there. We've got to work, we've got to work right. the wind. We've got to work the wind. Let's do it. The challenge here is a little more subtle. You don't have huge hulking dunes, but it's all about angles and finding the right bounce and finding the right spot on the golf course. Being out with Christy, he helped me a lot because you can make one of the holes really difficult or a lot easier to score. Ah. Good effort. I like this length par putt every day. <laughs> that's it. And on this hole, that's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. No, for sure. That was a beast today. Yeah, oh, big hole, big hole. But you get a beautiful view there of 18 as well. It's awesome. This is what we're going. This is what it's all about. So 18 at Royal Dublin. It's a hole that's burned in my memory for for good and bad reasons. Without a doubt. <laughs> without a doubt. Hugely demanding finishing golf hole. Fantastic, but very tough. You've got to get your tee shot into position. Then your second shot, you're going over the famous garden, as yes. you can see on your right-hand side, which is all out of bounds. Yeah. So it's got to be perfect tee shot, perfect second shot. And it's got a great legacy here. I mean, this hole has played a huge part in some big tournaments, and especially the way your dad finished. He needs a four at this hole to win, because this is a par five hole. It's 478 yards, and this is O'Connor, a vital shot for him here in his own home course. Here it is, over the garden, and the crowd rushing right round, and the ball drops. Oh, what a wonderful shot from Christy O'Connor here at his home course in Royal Dublin. Crowd all around, he holds the puff for three and wins the tournament. Oh, it's amazing. Fantastic. Eagle, birdie, eagle. Eagle, birdie, eagle. It was some finish and he was very proud of it. At his home club, World Dublin Golf Club. Fantastic. Brilliant. All right, let's find that spot that you're Come on and I'll show you. There you go. Get away. Go, shot. Go, 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 go. Come on, hop. Yeah. All right. Great on the dance shot. floor. Great shot. Great shot. Could be closer Brilliant. to the band, but that'll do. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Come on, baby. Come on. Come oh, on. Come on. Line. Great line. Come on. <laughs> okay, just uh, a fraction more. Yep. Beautiful there we finish. Are. Beautiful finish. Uh, thank you. Beautiful. Christy, that was. Thank a really special much. day. I thank mean, it's you. great to be at Royal Dublin, but to be here with you is an absolute honor. Not at all. And thank you very much for coming and visiting our great golf course and talking about my father. Ah. Much appreciated. What a great day at Royal Dublin. You'll see the sun came out. Uh, just, and it was really personally a great honor to play with Christy. I was here on the day when they laid his dad to rest and the whole membership came out. So to be here with his son and hear about his accomplishments and what he meant to Irish golf, it just really means a lot to me, as someone who loves Irish golf. I'll be back soon for sure. The members here are very active, very proud of the club, and they like to share with everybody who comes from overseas, be it local or overseas. Uh, so we're quite lucky in that sense, the members are friendly, they're, they're very proud of the club, and they like to make sure people have a warm welcome when they come. And that obviously spreads across to the staff, the management, and everybody here. Uh, we're all part of the same team, all hoping everybody has a good day. A good day indeed at the legendary Royal Dublin Golf Club golfing the world.